Boss Blitz is one of the most popular events in the Festival of Four Winds. But is it worth doing? Is it profitable? Let's talk about it. Subscribe to the channel for more content of this. Go if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So if you don't know about the Boss Blitz, it's this event that happens on this little circle here in the Crown Pavilion. In order to go here, you just have to go to the Divinity's Reach in the Crown Pavilion or the well, the main hub of the Sephirite, the Sephirite Labyrinth, talk to the Zeppelin and talk to them and say that you want to come to the Crown Pavilion. After this, you're going to see that they're going to have the prepare for the boss blitz uh, event, or you're going to see that there's going to be bosses that are going to be um, spawning in each of these little spots, right? And people, what they do is they go around in uh, festivals here, in squads, large squads, and they uh, go into a, uh, a squad and they essentially move around different maps in order to do as many of those bosses as they can. For example, right now I'm going to move to one and ho hopefully we're going to see that the boss is actually going to be uh, there being, uh, the event is going to be spawning, right? Yeah, there it is. So actually right now I could go in here, tag one of these bosses, do a little bit of damage and get the reward. And then as soon as that is done, people will go to the other, um, other uh, map and do the same thing again. But is it worth doing this? Well, kind of. I actually think so. Uh, because of a few reasons. One, it's pretty chill. You just don't really have to pay attention too much. You just have to do, you know, your rotation or even bring an auto attack build like what I have right now here with hammer, uh, and you can just do a lot of damage to the bosses uh, and do your part while at the same time just chilling and, and just you know don't do any, not doing anything. Also, there's a lot of downtime in between bosses. Uh, sometimes you're not gonna actually find a new map, and you're gonna have to wait until the bar is completed. Now. This will provoke the gold per hour to go significantly lower. But it is also pretty chill because you can just clean your inventory, do other stuff, um, you know, go get a sandwich, something, whatever. And then, you know, in some ways, even though you're technically losing money because nothing's happening, you're indeed still, you know, having good times and in not wasting your time, right? But uh, let's talk about the things that you get. As you can see here, I got a lot of materials. Uh, I got a lot of currency. Actually, I got more currency here. I spent it in gold because I wanted to show you how much gold I got it. I got around 600 this time. <clears throat> and I got around 15 gold in an hour, so around 14 gold per hour. I also got 10 spirit shards, which actually is not bad at all. And if you consider spirit shards gold, which I do, um, um, I think fast considers it around 50 silver each, so this would be like 5 gold. This will be around 50, uh, 20 gold. Uh, and in an hour, that's around 20 gold per hour, so pretty good. Now, I will consider spirit shards way more than that, more than one gold, because I make legendaries with it. Uh, but if you don't, I would just consider this around 20 gold uh, per hour, I think. And 20 gold per hour is pretty, pretty okay for an activity that is very, very chill like this. That being said, uh, you know, you can still um, use the festival tokens uh, for something else, for example, like skins and, well... Um, the weekly, which actually makes the uh, this way, way more profitable. Uh, in an hour, I, I got around, let's say, 600. So let's say that it will take you 10 hours to get around 5,000 festival tokens, which would give you a Trader Sun ground chest. So let's think about this. So let's say that we have, you know, the, we get after 10 hours of doing this, the Trader Sun's ground chest, which is indeed, uh, let's see here, Trader Sun ground chest, 66 gold. So this would be boop, 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 66 divided by 10 hours, because it's going to take us 10 hours. Boom, 6.6 .6 gold per hour, plus the 20 gold per hour we had before. Boom, 26.6 per gold per hour. That is actually pretty good for just an activity that you're just chilling around with. And it can also be way better, because in my uh, when I was doing this, there was a lot of downtime. If you actually go into a specific uh, map where you're just blasting, uh, absolutely blasting uh, your changes in maps, a multi-map squad, you're actually going to be able to get way more gold than what I have here. As each of these uh, uh, blitz are probably going to be around like one or two golds. If you do that like every four minutes, you're going to be really, really doing a lot of gold. Eventually, you will, you know, always have some sort of downtime as, of course, there is going to be, you know, there's not going to be enough maps for you to keep you going. But honestly, the activity is pretty, it, it's pretty good regardless, right? Even if, you know, you get a lot of activity, if you get don't get that much of activity, I think it's very, very good. So, and of course, even if you're not going for the gold, you can use this for different types of uh, skins and stuff. Uh, anyways, in the vendors that you will 
probably like in the first place so i would definitely you know it's it's definitely cool to have those as well but that's about it very very good content i think uh for you to, to do just running around having a good time getting a bit of gold without paying too much attention over and over again uh pretty good uh it's almost like a meta train but you're in the same map at all times so pretty happy with it and i'm pretty pleasantly surprised on how this ended up working i was not really expecting this um this content to be that profitable um it's not the most insane thing but like for the effort that you're putting in i think it definitely is uh, of course definitely pay attention to the bosses try and kill them all at the same time so you know you end up you don't end up with one boss that is insanely powerful and you take more long longer than you actually have to you do want to have uh, all the bosses died uh, around uh, you know fast so you actually get gold rewards uh, but this seems to be very very easy and it seems like everyone is not really no, no one is really failing that so definitely worth doing uh, definitely very chill and good content good content good gold seems good seems cool and uh, there you go and uh, yeah there you go um, go to my Twitch watch me live go to my coffee if you want to support me see you guys around love you all bye bye